So, we meet again for another room tour video. So, here we go. Welcome to my room in the new house. So first on the tour, my door is right here. And then here is my bedside table and my bed as well. So first off, I have a bunch of stuff right here. Alarm clock, another clock. This one actually has plugs on it, which I use to charge my phone and all that. And then this one's just an alarm clock. And then as we move on, there's, a, there's two bowls there that are for my cat, which who is hardly in here, so... I mean, I don't, I don't know. And then we have this little guy right here. It's Vector. He's pretty interesting little robot. Um, he was made by Anki, and now Anki went out of business, and DDL or Digital Dream Labs bought them out. So. Yeah, there he is. We have two cubes for him for some reason. He only needs one. And yeah, that's Vector. And then I have a fan in here because I have no ceiling fan. And the one vent right there. So it can get hot in here. So why is this not in focus? So yeah, that's why well, I have that in there, the trash can, litter box, my dresser, with a chair right here that I am using as a desk for right now. As you can see, my laptop is here, the mouse, my headphones with a headphone stand. Both of these actually have LED lights on them, by the way. As I plug in my headphone stand, you will see it has RGB lighting. My headphones also have RGB, or not exactly RGB, but it has light. It's, it's only going to show green right now because it's not connected to the dongle. Well, once it's connected to the dongle, I can pick a color I want. Then I have this computer over here, which is just like an extra little computer for whatever I want to do with it. It's, it's an old computer, but I just have it here for whatever I really need it for. And then that is my closet. I'm, I don't think I'm going to show anything in there right now. And over here, I have a Bluetooth speaker slash radio. And then I have my DS's up here, charging. This is where they charge. And then over here, I have my TV stand with my TV on top. And my switch right here. And then all the little accessories and stuff for the switch and the case. Over here I have the Wii remote for the Wii which is down here. I'll show you that later. There's a PS4 controller, Xbox 360 controller, and the remote for my TV. I have here a HDMI switch that has the switch and the place the X, xbox and we plugged into it now i only have the two hdmi cords which go to the switch and the wii and the xbox so i have to switch this one between the wii and the xbox because i don't have 
another HDMI cord at the moment. So we yeah, have switch, everything up there. Wii sensor bar for the Wii. And then as we move down here, I have the Xbox 360 and the Wii and the PS4. The PS4 is connected directly to the TV. The TV has two HDMI ports. So that is why I need the HDMI switch. And then as we move down here, I have a bunch of wires back there. And then all the wires for all the game consoles and everything back there. Don't judge on the cables, how messy the cables are. It's just how I have it. My DS games right here. I have Medal of Honor for the Xbox 360. The disc is right here. The disc is scratched though, so the game doesn't work. So yeah. I have The Last of Us Remastered in here. Then over here, I have a bunch of Switch game cases. None of the games are in here. I have the games in the case and in my Switch grip, which actually has game card holder on the back, which is pretty cool. This, this grip also acts as a Switch stand, so that's cool too. Um, what brand is this actually? It's whatever that is. Alright. So, that is pretty much it for the TV stand and everything else around the room. So, if I move over here, I'm gonna... T Give you some specs on my new laptop. If you're interested in any of that, I'm gonna go ahead and get Task Manager up. All right. So. With this laptop, I have Focus, a AMD Ryzen 5 5600H with Rayon graphics. Uh, where is the clock speed? This is saying about 3 point something here. Oh, 3.30, 3.30 gigahertz I have this clocked at. And then as we go to the memory, I have 16 gigabytes of memory. It had 8, but I recently upgraded to 16. So the speed is 3200 megabyte, megahertz. So damn. And then we go to my SSD, which is a Samsung SSD 870, 870 EVO 1 terabyte. That is actually my secondary SSD, not my main SSD, as you can see here with a D. Why is this focusing in and out? So as we go to my main SSD, which is a Samsung, whatever the heck this is, another Samsung SSD, and that is a 239 gigabyte SSD. As we go to the GPU, GPU zero, I, ha I actually have two GPUs, as you can see here. AMD Ryzen 5, AMD Radeon Graphics, and NVIDIA GeForce GTX. So, I have a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650, 
with 10.9 gigabytes of GPU memory, 6.9 shared GPU memory, and 4 gigabytes of dedicated GPU memory. As we go to GPU 1, AMD Radeon graphics with 2 gigabytes of dedicated GPU memory and 8.9 gigabytes of GPU memory and 6.9 gigabytes of shared GPU memory. So if you are interested in any of this, there it is for you. This is a Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3. This laptop can run games at 120 FPS, of course certain games, like Fortnite and Minecraft and Splitgate, just a couple games I've tried. This screen is a 1080p 120 hertz monitor or screen. I don't know like the exact specs, but that's as far as I know that yeah that's kind of the specs of the screen and we can move on to this computer oh I forgot to mention this is Windows 11 as well as we move over to this computer let me get this on real quick, see when I have it up. Alright, so I have it up. Let's go to performance. For the CPU in this computer, the desktop, we, I have a Pentium Dual, Intel Pentium Dual Core CPU E5800 clocked at 3.20 gigahertz with two cores and this one over here I forgot to mention the cores but I think it's a it's a quad core the quad core processor then as we move to the memory I have four gigabytes of memory and then this memory is clocked at 800 megahertz. That's actually not very fast. Um, dim RAM, dim form factor, hardware reserved 34.8. Then the hard drive. This is not an SSD, this is an actual hard drive as you can see right here. It's a Hitachi HDS721010 CLA332 hard drive. It is a terabyte. Um, for some reason, it's always hanging out at 100%. There is no GPU in this in this computer. It is in integrated graphics which sucks I know this this computer is running Windows 10 Windows 10 home this monitor is a Dell monitor uh, I believe 1080p 60 Hertz this is also a Lenovo but this is the Lenovo Idea Center. This this computer had Windows 7 on it, but it was upgraded to Windows 10. Um uh, trying to see this information here. Around four gigabytes. OS Windows 7, which was which has been upgraded to Windows 10. Yeah, I think I 
pretty much got all the information I need from here. So that can be turned off. I have a Dell keyboard for this computer as well as a Microsoft mouse. Um, what, what is this? Wheel, mouse, optical, USB. It's just a Microsoft mouse. It's, it's an old, it's an old mouse. Hmm. Trying to find like a model number. But there is the information if it'll focus. If you're interested with any of that. And then my keyboard is a Dell model RT7050 right there. If it will focus on that RT7050. And then like any other information you might be interested in and then my speakers um let's see that's the brand right there and then the model number if you're interested in any of that and that's just about it for everything up here this mouse here is a rat 9 a mad cat's rat 9 wireless mouse i have these afterglow this afterglow headset i don't know where the model number may, may be on this thing. I don't think it says the model number at least like for me to easily find. So that's my headset right there. This is the dongle for the headset. And that's the wireless receiver for the mouse. Why isn't this focusing? This is just like, this is just a stand for the headphones. And as I mentioned earlier, they have um, RGB lighting. Now, as we move up here, I have some little decorations. This is a Dundee Award from the office if you've ever seen the office you'll know what this is a one-up mushroom from mario and then i have a mario um little figure here then i have this old wi-fi dongle that i w was using on this computer but this dongle does not support 5g so, I have this dongle right here, which is, let me get the brand for you. Our link. This is a Belkin. Um, there's the model number right there. And I have a bunch of other stuff up here in this little compartment right there. Then I have a lamp right here. And then a little Fortnite card. This came out of... <clears throat> this came out of Fortnite Monopoly. <clears throat> Which gives you the Monopoly token back blings. That's the code. I already used it, so I'm not worried about showing it on camera. But if you want to put it in 
whatever it's probably not gonna work because I'm pretty sure it's a one-time use but you put it in if you want to waste your time whatever I don't I don't care I already use it so I'm not worried about it being used before I use it then here I have Anki Overdrive I have the track pieces in my closet which I'm not going into right now but I have two cars this one's Skull, this one's Ground Shock, and this is plugged into the computer right now to charge, and yeah, I think that is about it for the room tour. I have my Skills USA medal up here, which you may have seen in previous room tour videos. And yeah, my chair right there. That is about it for the worm tour. If you guys have enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe to my channel, as well as my main channel, which is a which is Chris Ten Three Three Gaming. Hit the notification bell so you are notified whenever I upload a new video on either one of the channels and leave a comment what you about what you thought about my room compared to my old room in the old room tours and oh something I want to mention on the last video which is about the eShop channel or the eShop, the Nintendo eShop closing on 3DS and Wii U. I tried out making a thumbnail for that video. And I was noticing that it cut off part of my thumbnail. So, what, what you may be able to see is the Nintendo eShop logo up at the top and then the 3DS and the Wii U but under the 3DS and the Wii U I put text saying closing with a question mark and exclamation point and exclamation mark as I was looking at it it was cut off so sucks but yeah that's what it was meant to say at the very bottom but, yeah, I tried out making a thumbnail, and I kind of want to start getting into making thumbnails for my videos for both the gaming channel and the vlog channel. So, yeah, that, maybe don't expect thumbnails for, like, every video, but, like, expect thumbnails on s at least some videos. I will try to make thumbnails for the videos. So yeah, that's something to look forward to. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I'll see you guys in a future video. Bye. Also remember to subscribe and click that notification bell.